All right, just to give you an idea on how you coat tablets the conventional way. And uh, I was taught this away as well as the person who taught me was taught this away as well. You're going to take a burner with a pot. You're going to add in about three kilos worth of water. And then you're going to take seven kilos of sorbitol which is a sugar alcohol and then you're going to add it to your conventional coating pan this here just happens to be chewing gum that is a round shape There's quite a bit in there so what you're going to do is you're going to get your water up to about 140 degrees you're going to add in sorbitol and you're going to stir Once you have all seven kilos in, you are going to add in your color. So, as an example, here would be like a color from ColorCon. I'm going to add in about, mm, to basically whatever color you're trying to achieve. We do 100 milliliters in this batch. This batch can do up to about four, four to six, depending on how many coats you're wanting to do, about four to six buckets worth of product. This will eventually turn clear. The sorbitol dissolves in the water and it'll be slowly ladled with the same ladle into coating pan. Hold on one second. You'll notice that I'm adding it very slowly and when the water goes completely clear is when you add the color if I said that or not. You don't want to add it too fast in or it'll take even longer to do the coating process because you need this completely clear liquid. Now when adding it to your tablets or your chewing gum or whatever tablets you're planning on making. You want to make sure that you put, when you go to add this, because this will be a color, and if you decide not to do a color, you could do a clear coat, you could use this exact same formula. Just about that much, very slowly poured back and forth over the product. Then you're going to use a method of cooling and heating to dry your tablets because they're going to be wet. Now this is the old school way. The new school way they have these really, really, really expensive machines that spray it on and dry it at the same time. Which we're old school here. So we're going to continue doing it this way. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. I try to answer any of my YouTube followers as fast as I can. But this is a dietary supplement application. If you have any questions on how to make tablets, you can also write me as well. I've been doing this pretty much since I was little, maybe eight years old, I'm 32.
something I'm very passionate about. If you go to wemakevitamins.com, that is our company. We do custom formulas. We do not have our own product line, so you never have to worry about us competing with you as a customer. The main goal is to educate, even though you may be a competitor and want to just learn how we're doing it, and that is okay too. In fact, I have a lot of friends, business owners that are here local that lean on us for answers, and that's okay too. Because one day, I will need you too, and you will help me out. So once again, that's WeMakeVitamins.com. My name is Ron. Help you any way that I can.